go knock on the door, that's not Mr. Miller? Yes. You called about your neighbor? I did. Nice yeah. to meet you. So I'm going to grab my dad real quick. Okay. Another witness. Is he the one or is his dad the protected party? They're all on the they're all uh, protected. Oh, okay. Is that guy coming out? What's that? Should we go inside to talk to him? Actually, oh, no, if he comes out, it'd be a good thing, right? Yeah. So they're all in the protective party. There was a four. laughing, shaking like he's on the phone. Oh my God. That's his laugh on the phone. Then what happens is that I wait there to try and see if he's talking to me, see so if he calm down. Then I come out. What's up, sir? Hey, how are you? He comes out and the first thing he goes is Zach's got a small pee pee. Starts just sexual harassment, cussing, um, threats. Uh, he even leaned over my property for paperwork. I'll go hand it to you. I should grab that. Sorry. Uh, do you have him throwing the paperwork over there in the video? I do. I have it on the video. Uh, he leaned over my property through. I have an emergency restraining order, so yeah. he can't be talking to me. Okay. Um, this is in two clips. So this is... I said your name was Zachary. Right? Yeah. So, sorry. Fast forwarding to me. This is where he says it. Yeah, you said my name. We go face to face. Now he's recently keyed my car. I uploaded the. I don't know if you saw. I uploaded that. Uh, the other guy probably got it. Uh, yeah. He does come out of the window, but I didn't know which window he came out of, so I'm looking at that one. He came out of the next one. Okay. This is where he starts doing it. So I start walking closer because he's trying to lean out of the window. Talk about me. I'm trying to get a better angle. I saw the security footage from up here. Okay. I'm still pulling that. This is because there's three cameras. I got two installed since I've seen you. That one got moved. He's about to pop out right there. That's his arm right there. He'll he'll pull himself out and he will come out of the vehicle. Okay. I don't know who that name is. What kind of this photo? Yeah, he started doing about 8:42. Okay. At the beginning of the video. I have it on my notepad on my computer the exact times. We had two different altercations. I came in, got my dad. He comes out. 
Okay. And he goes, F you guys, this and that. Okay. What's your birthday, Zach? January 11th, 1996. I own 99% of the home, so I'm, I'm the uh, main point of contract. Of I'm this house? Of okay. Yes. He owns the other 1%. But we you guys both live here? Yeah, okay. we have the same name. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, that's why it gets a little confused. Okay. So just, that's yeah, why what's the phone number? Right, 818. 879-3860. Okay, are you able to send me that and then these videos as well? Yeah, okay. I will send that. Are these the papers that he Yes. So he starts putting Captain Young in there because I'm in contact with Captain Young. Okay. Um, he starts... Did you see my restraining order in the system? Yeah. Okay, done. I just want to make sure. Is this just a copy of it all? Uh, no. This is what he threw on my property. Okay. He threw this at me. He, he wrote about me in here. He literally wrote about me, saying he's filed this in federal court. I don't even know if that's real, but it's not. Yeah, actually, he called me a computer hacker. Then he starts putting this in here. Uh, he starts putting some salacious things in writing. Um, I have these. I just took pictures and I uploaded them to the thing. When I get your email, I'm going to add your email. Officer Barron's on there. I don't think Officer Torres is on there. Okay. Um, uh, where did he say me? I don't so have you already have access yet. to the Axon evidence share? Uh, yeah, but I think that uh, it's just one leak every three minutes. I mean every three days, right? Like, I'm not sure. I can yeah. just give you another one. Yeah, you have to give me a leak each time. Okay. It expires every three days, that's why it's secure. I work at a software company. Uh, where does it say? He goes in and oh! Is it this one? He goes in and says, Zach Miller is a fleet behind me, though used to deliver either mothers, milk, or drugs 24 7 at 2 a.m. with the rocket motors and loud mufflers. Zach's delivery service has not, has not gone unnoticed by the neighborhood, including the preschools next door. The latter is more likely true. Since Zach's delivery driver of the white BMW 18 year old kid, he normally calls him 17, by the way, so he's pretty pedophile ish when he says sexual disorders to a 17 year old. Admitted to the plaintiff, they are dealing drugs. The driver of the silver BMW has boasted that he has connections to law enforcement and is their steroid supplier. You can't touch me. I know all the local cops and supply their juice, which plaintiff understood to be steroids. This fact is supposed to be the influence that they have received special police protection for their delivery operation in high-end BMWs 24 7. I mean, he literally... It looks like he's trying to file like a lawsuit. Yeah, but this is all fixed up. Yeah. What I'm saying is he threw this at me. Okay. First of all, he can't serve because he was serving me. Mm -hmm. So he's mentally insane. So what I'm saying is he, got, he stepped over my property, violently threw this at me. I have it on the tape. Okay. Um, and then he's putting slander in paperwork while I have an emergency restraining order. Okay. What are the other forms? Um, it's just a long... It's just him just talking okay, smack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you need a light? No, a light. it's all good. I got yeah. it. That's enough. I just took pictures. Yeah. You got enough pictures? I'm good to take these ones. Uh, will that help the case? I would assume so. Yeah. Okay. If I can get the video of him throwing it over. Yeah. And then I can just book these as what he threw over. Okay. I can do that. Yeah, it's on the video. He throws it on the second video. I think I can show you right here. Oh, you got it on your cell phone video. I'm still pulling the security tape, so okay. I only pulled that one. Okay. I have not pulled those two. Okay. I don't have it on the maze at which point if you did it at all. As you've probably seen in the system, my cell phone alone is called over 20 times. That's not the only cell phone. Oh, yeah, your cell phone right? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, called the phone oh, okay. times since April. Oh, okay. I speak to Matt Young on like a weekly basis about okay. this. He's dealing with code enforcement. He's sticking out. Yeah. Is there something on his face no. right there? No, oh, he's, he's pulling the phone out. Oh, it's a cell phone. Okay. Yeah, he's trying to fake like he's recording me. Okay. It's like, good, show that to somebody, please. That you're breaking an emergency restraining order. This is where he comes outside. I would. Are you willing to accept service, Zach? Mocking the fact that I got him served. Are you willing to accept service? He tried to throw it out and it missed. I filed out a 
stepped over my property, put his arms over it, and then it was a 30 yard restraining order. Yeah. From your property or from you? From both, I think. Okay. I'd have to reread it. I didn't know there was a difference. Yeah, I think there's a stay with the residence and a stay with another person, but I'm assuming they did the residence if they did 30 feet. I think it said residence. Okay. So obviously proving that that paperwork is on the way. I should have videoed what was on the okay. paperwork, but I mean, that's pretty good evidence. Yeah. And that's just from the cell phone, let alone what the security camera is going to pick up. Yeah. He continues to talk trash. So this is then where I went and got my dad. Can you show me the time on the second video? It's the same one. Same oh, time. Okay. So, not how same many, video. How many individual videos do you have? So I've got three They're videos. They're all simultaneous? Uh, two of them are simultaneous. One of them is not. Okay. That's not simultaneous. So, so the this simultaneous occurred, video went so this from was a 844 five until... Yeah. So, yeah. 844 to... Um, 853? Four minutes past Four minutes, right yeah, about 853, yes. And then the other one I'll have to get you the time. Is it a timestamp to you? Nine? Yeah, nine. Nine p.m. Um, yeah, he was mocking um, me, saying goodnight to my girlfriend, as in he's implying that he has been watching me, stalking me. Mm -hmm. um, so that was creepy. Okay. All right, um, how long did it take you to get those downloaded? That is on the Google Drive. I'm just waiting for it to load. Okay. There's two other ones that have two floodlights, okay. so I have to get those. So I can just give you the link and you'll be able to upload all that? Yeah, I should. the stuff on your phone? Yeah, the okay. stuff on my phone. Up. I have a Google Drive. Do you, what is your email to add to that? Do you have a way of sharing it with the Axon? I do. I can just upload the. Yeah. Actually, me, yeah, I can just upload the docs. Let me That's give fine. it to you that way. Maybe you just send it to me. Do you prefer it on email or tech? Like email, huh? Uh, email, yeah. Because I'm going to pull it up on my desktop. Okay. What tech company do you work for? Uh, I work for Giant Partners. It's a marketing and software company. Oh, okay. That's why he always calls me a computer hacker, but I'm not a computer hacker. I'm a salesman. Zach Miller, Z A C H Miller, M I L L E R, one one at gmail dot com. That sounds slurry. I got an Invisalign in. It's on my last set, so my teeth are really bad. <laughs> So how does this work since him, we just had an incident, Officer Torres was here, where um, he keyed my car, mm -hmm. and I and I then had to go watch security footage for a long time, and pull the tapes of him keying the car, and then throwing a bottle in my driveway. Okay. Uh, so to me, this obviously proves that he throws stuff in my driveway, because this is not the first thing he's thrown. Yeah. So how does this work since I've got a... Um, a police report was submitted evidence that's supposed to be sent to the court to get a warrant for his arrest, and this is now a, a separate one. So this will be 1-11-1996. So this will be a separate entity. Same thing. We'll put in a basically a declaration saying we know that this was violated for these reasons, and hopefully the judge signs off and he can be arrested for that next time someone can get him. So it would be it wouldn't be the same as the vandalism. Do you so know if they put a warrant through for the vandalism? I do not know yet. Okay, that would be yeah. That's gonna be up to the DA's office. Yeah, that's what they said. They said what it takes up to three weeks. Hip, just depends honestly. The Got DA's it. office can is overall control on that. Yeah. But I just sent that to you. You want to see if it goes through? Thank you for checking. <laughs> I appreciate how thorough you are. Yeah, no problem. I knew I gotta be. You know. <laughs> I figured if you're on Torres, you probably know. Um. No, I'll stay that way. Yep. So it goes to my promotions or updates tab. So yeah, perfect. So I'll pull that up on my desktop. I'm gonna drop it in there, um, and then I'll upload it. All right. So basically, just to recap everything with you is between 
uh, 8.44 and 8.53 um, was the initial video. What, were, what was he saying? Just a couple of examples um, of the things. Obviously, the full video will get uploaded. Zach's got a small PP. F you. Oh, let me kiss my girlfriend. Good night. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, love you, honey. Good mocking us. Um, he then said that um, I'm a computer hack that sells drugs. Um, that I have the little kid in the white beamer do it. So he's basically like talking about someone who he claims is a, uh, a minor, which is not, which is pretty pedophilia, and then he's claiming stalking, so that's creepy. Um, and then he starts saying that I'm a homo, I'm a fag, um, and then he's saying that I'm stalking him and illegally recording him. And the whole time okay. he's swearing and slurs and whatnot. And then when my dad came out, he was screaming and calling his mother efforts and everything, like acting like he was going to threaten us. When he came out of his RV, um, I was, was prepared to defend myself. I did think that it was going to escalate to that. He was going to come after you? I did think that, yes. So you were in fear that he was going to hurt you? I was absolutely in fear, yes. Now, do I think I can take him? Yes, but was I afraid that some guy with a mental illness that Regardless of that, yeah. smokes were, were weed you scared and that he could hurt yeah, you absolutely. come after you? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, when he got out and did that, um, that was pretty big, especially after he took a knife and keyed my car. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, he's not. Um, right in the second video? Same kind of stuff, or was there anything different? Uh, just he called his mother effers and all that stuff. So, so the second video was when your dad came out? Yeah. How did your dad know to come out? Did you call him and tell him? Yeah, I, wa I walked in the house. Okay. I went and grabbed him. He was in the backyard, so I had to find him. So it took a couple minutes, and I just said, come out here. I, I brought him out as a witness. Okay. And I have, a, I have a little brother, so when he comes home, so we have to make and my girlfriend coming over. He also was awaiting the arrival of his girlfriend, which did happen when he was making threats. So she's okay. in the house. Okay. So um, we, we like to stand outside, which is unfortunate when guests come to our home. Yeah, so this guy doesn't yell at him? That's why he goes Yeah, stand because outside? he has sexually harassed her, and I have that on video. Okay. Officer Barron has seen that. Okay. Yeah. I have this whole Google Drive. Okay. It was the second video where he threw the paperwork, right? Correct. No, uh, yes, the second video. That's correct. So it would be after 9 o'clock? Yes. No, 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 no. That was the continuous video. It would be eight. the second video of the of part Yeah, one. yeah. Okay. So it would be eight, after 8.49 he threw the video. Uh, the paperwork. No, I think... Thank you for clarifying. And he has violated it. I just have to go back and pull tapes. I was on vacation, mm -hmm. um, where he was yelling things at um, two people in the home. I just have to go pull it. Okay. So was it has, two people that were protected parties? Yeah, my dad and then my roommate Xavier. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I just, you know how it takes me watching film, dude, yeah. forever, dude. Sitting there forever. Yeah, because it's not like I can see anything every time. Yeah, I get like, it. Like, even even that was hard, and I was standing right in front of him. Yeah, I get it. I couldn't figure out how to get my flash on without cutting the video feed. Yeah. Did your dad has the same name as you? Yeah, he also spells Zach it Miller? Zachary, Z-A-C-H-E-R-Y. Do you know his date of birth? Uh, 02-10-19... Are you 72 or 71? 71. 1971, you're saying? Yeah. And do you know your dad's phone number? 818-661-8415. Uh, so Chavez was the last police report. I don't okay. know if you want to put that police report or if that's just... It'll business. all get linked together. When cool. the DA goes for filing, it'll, everything will get put together. Very cool. Sounds good. Could be for multiple counts of violation. or It's all, at the end of the day... It kind of sucks it all comes down to the DA. It does suck. Decision, so. Captain Matt Young uh, requested to issue a warrant mm -hmm. because Officer Barron and the DA declined before I had my restraining order. Mm -hmm. So now post restraining order, I'm hoping that um, that uh, that changes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is the door. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll go.
the uh, the family is home. They Inside that house? Yeah, when I checked the security tapes, they pulled up in between the altercations. So are they like, is it his family? No, they're his friends. They just let him live. Do up. they know all the stuff he's doing? Like, yep. And they don't care? They don't care. Hmm. Yep. You guys have knocked on the door and said we have video footage. Yeah. And they just don't care? They don't care. Yeah. They are home. Interesting. They're aware. Uh, he was yelling the homeowner's name as a friend reference, trying to pretend like he was standing there. Yeah. But the homeowner is Joseph. Okay. And the, I don't know the mom. I forget the mom's name. But the mom owns it too. Okay. Right, I'm gonna go put this in the fridge. Some of them are So, so what do you think of the video? I mean, I know it, it's still a screaming order by They're going up to the fence just to give him the benefit of the doubt. But yeah, the guy's screaming at him the whole time. He's What's his, he saying? Saying his name. Did he yell at Zach? Yeah. A couple Zach times. Yeah. Saying you mother effers and all kinds of stuff. And then he comes. So he's at the second window. You can't really see him. You can see his phone. And then. The first video is broken up into two parts because it was too long. And then he comes out around the front and he stands here. He's yelling at him again, just obscenities and stuff. Outside? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then he takes all the paperwork and he throws it at him and says, you've been served. And it's like a, like a, it's like formatted, like a real court docket. But it's, you could tell, he's like, this guy's giving him the title because it gives it the title of like drug dealer and all kinds of stuff. And he throws it at him. Mm -hmm. And then Zach just kind of stands there, keeps filming, hits the ground and then. So just, just tell him. You yeah, know, just if the guy starts yelling and shit like that, record him, yeah. and then just walk inside. Yeah. Because it doesn't look good when he's walking up to the motorhome like, with the fucking trailer, because yeah. you're provoking him, right? And it would that, technically that's his residence mm -hmm. right now. The the motorhome is his residence. Yeah. So it'd be like someone fucking walking up to your house. Yeah. Trying to record you while you're inside your yeah. house. You know, so. Yeah. Just if he's in a record, record from the front yard. Okay. Don't approach him. Shit like that. Okay. And then aside from that, we'll just write it up. Should we go knocking and try to get him? To you come can out? try. Okay. okay. Don't think he's gonna come out. He's not gonna come out. Yeah. Just move, just move on by the house. Okay. Hey Zach. Zach. What's up? Yeah, that's what I put in the car. So I think we got everything. Um, 
Cool. We're gonna see if we can talk to him out here, but I don't, I don't think he's gonna come out. Yeah. I just it's, like the attempt of contact. Yeah. It's probably gonna end up being the same thing as last time where it's gonna go to the DA and stuff like that. Uh, the only thing I would recommend is, and obviously you're free to do what you want to do on your own property, but it kind of could look bad on you if you're standing at your fence line, almost as if they would, they could think you're like provoking him. So, I mean, feel free to report him, right? You obviously have the right to do that. But I, I would just recommend maybe if he's screaming, just record your way in and just go about your business, you know? Okay, I'll and take your recommendation. Maybe let these cameras take a, take over for that. Cool. I just don't want someone to say that you're like, provoking him to get worse, you know? Totally understood. I didn't say a word to him this yeah, time. Yeah, and I heard that. Video, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Cool. But okay, no, I'll take your recommendation. You know, I, I just did that so we could prove that it was his space. I get it. Yeah, 100%. Because my camera can't pick a space. Yeah, though. yeah. So, But I mean, at one point, you could let like the DA's office understand that like, we know he is living in there. The voice coming from there could be him. Yeah, totally but, Like I said, you're free to do what you need, but no, 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 you I'll... don't want someone to flip the other way, you know? No, I, I want I want to win in court. Yeah. So thank you. Cool. cool. Are you going to knock on the main door, too? Uh, I'll see, maybe. Do you think cool. he, does he go inside that residence? Uh, he does at times, but the homeowners are there, so maybe he can make contact. It also, I think, looks good in the police report when it's like, hey, they don't answer the door to the police when they're home. Yeah. And then at the same time, sometimes they tell you guys to leave. Yeah. So I think that proves my point of, like, they're they're kind of hostile. Yeah. Have you had any problems with him? No, he won't talk to me anymore. Huh? No, we okay. used to talk when his dad died. Yeah, okay. Um... He told us that, hey, my buddy's going to be here for about two months. It's COVID. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, he's a little racist, this and that. I said, okay. Hmm. Now, you know, two years later. Yeah. Uh, more than two years. But This uh, is the guy that was showing up for COVID that's a little racist? Yep. Yeah, he parked the RV in there. That RV was not there yeah. when I moved in. Um, what else was I going to say the last one? Oh, um, can you check and see if his Jetta was towed? Yeah, we towed it today. <gasps> no way. Yeah. Because they marked it, and it has to be moved within a 72-hour period. Oh my gosh. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's amazing. Yeah, I've been it has to be that moved. Forever. Um, some of the traffic oh. units out there were the ones that did it. No, no, they I've been marked working it, with them forever. And they, uh, he didn't move it within that time, so we took it today. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, man. Well, do you know about what time? Um. Maybe 3.30, okay, 4 o'clock? Cool. Yeah, it was not. Roughly okay, around there. Oh, you might be at it, you'd have to apply. So what happened to the hose card now? There's car stuff. It's going to go to the impound line. You have to pay to go get it out, pay to register it and all kinds of stuff. The house is protected. Yeah. So the house is protected, so anybody here. But would I have to be on the property that we were talking about specs of like distance, location, parameters? No, just as long as he's out here yelling or doing whatever. If he's yelling it directed at you and you're here at the house, the house is protected. He can't bother anybody at this house. Basically. I just mean, could he be like, I didn't yell her there. I yelled her when she was in her car. Oh, I see what you're saying here. Technicality. Yeah. Like if she's across yeah, the street. I think still 30 feet. Yeah. 30 yards. 30, 30 yards. yards. Oh, yeah, further than mm -hmm. that. Um, so, okay, so you should get a restraining order, and then his car could get to it. Oh, good job, gentlemen. Nice. I'm very happy about that. I thought that we would have to chalk it again and get it again. Good, 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 good. Now we um, did it, actually. Do you guys... You did it? Do you guys move that um, anytime that you chalk someone's vehicle, or you put up and sip on it? Put up and sip on him. So he moved so it he from... It. So he just moved it from here over there. Yeah. Looked into it. You got to move the car one mile. Oh, we thought that it was just one mile, inches. One mile. So that's why he moved it from here to over there. So we got based on the technicality where he has to move it a mile. So when we checked the chalk, it was still there. So if you would have driven it a mile, that chalk might have been. Is that one mile for any car? What's the difference between? Is it because it was chalk? Like my car, let's say I go on vacation, I leave it there. Can you if, guys, if your car is parked there and he calls to complain about it, and we come out and chalk it. We'll come out and cite it after three days, and if it's not moved, a mile. A mile. Even so though he, this is so, property. So, yeah. So if he, the street belongs to everybody. Yeah. So if he calls to complain that your car hasn't been moved, uh, then you guys. Then so basically, if I go on vacation, I can put the car in the driveway. Understood. Or you have your dad move it. Have your dad move it around. Got it. Okay, well, thank you for that. I didn't know that. That's a big deal. That's yeah. a good event. Wow.
That, that's probably not a normal thing with other He's called the cops enough. on me before. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is that you probably wouldn't have to worry about that. But he has a lawsuit against you guys, too, in case you didn't know. Because you guys are stalking him. <laughs> well, well, he calls all the time. Does he? Wow. He's calling to complain about your lights. Mm. Oh, he doesn't he like them in his illegal no. living situation? So when he calls and complaining about my lights, what do you guys do? Drive by and lights lights are on, yeah. It's illegal? So, yeah, there's, 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 nothing, yeah, there's really nothing you can do. So you technically will never knock on my door for it? And there's nothing illegal about my lights, right? No security lights. <laughs> and so if I put floodlights on the side of my house, that's illegal to you, right? But the floodlights, those will turn on and off the sensor lights? Yeah. Yeah. Those are legal. But what if I had them on every time the sun goes down? Like these are on 24 7. They don't turn off at night. Yeah. Same thing with floods. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's on your property. So as long as you're not recording them. So technically, I can't fix a recording camera on the side of my house. You could, just as long as it goes down the side. Like, not directly into their yard, but as long as it's covering your side. Okay. Thank you for that. That so the cameras just need to basically be covering your your property. So you can put cameras all over the house as long as it's just it's not pointed directly. Like you can't put one here at this corner. Point it. I doubt that. I can't put so one you on the street. One this one. My dad wants to put one on the street. Yeah, if you want to point it down right here. But he wants to point it straight. Yeah. No. So what about his cameras that he has pointed directly at us? Now whether they're real or not, I'm just saying. Yeah. He's got three of them. <laughs> just put that. In, I'll just add that. To yeah. Can we just board. add it to another? Computer? I'm gonna add that to another board. Okay. Add pictures right. Thank you for that clarification. Oh, uh, awesome. I'm going to look into their trainer and pull because I'm saying there's a chance I could be added to yours rather than getting my own. Because you guys had a hearing on the, what is it, 31st? 31st. Yes. Yeah, so you can probably just add her to it. That's it. And so would that be adding her to my document or she files something and they add her paper? Why just add her to yours? Okay, cool. Thank you. Well, you guys gave really good advice tonight. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Even if it feels like you're not able to do anything, we appreciate you showing up. Well, you told the car that was huge. Yeah. yeah I don't know if it's going to make it better for you or worse, but... <laughs> well, the worse he gets, the worse he gets in court. But yes. <laughs> it's not fun in the moment. So what's the next step? You guys just in contact over... Yeah, I think they're going to try and make contact. Okay. Yeah, he'll, he'll write up the report, go to detectives, and then they'll submit a warrant check. Can, can I get the report ID? Yeah.